Hello, Peter Preservers! Welcome back to the Aston Villa Kai mode. We just smashed Middlesbrough. Transfer window is finished and we are away against Barnsley and I'm going to sim this one. The Premier League is when you need to play nearly every single game when you're a club that's just come up. El Mahamadi and Adoma bag the goals for us. 2-1 win away at Barnsley. Alright, let's get a sim in here. How are we doing? Oh, Amang joins us on his first training session. Vieira goes up to 71. Cucurella goes up to 69. Oh, we're flying. We are flying. Oh my lord, we've pulled Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. Unbelievable. That's a disgraceful pull. Uh, uh, Chelsea. Do I even want to play this away at Stamford Bridge? You know, I just don't see the point in, in wasting my energy on a Chelsea game in the Carabao Cup. We've got two days until we play Forest, two days until we play Burton, and then another two days until we play Bolton. It's just... So I'm going to sim it away at Chelsea. I'm just going to... have I'll wave the white flag and say fuck it, I don't care. Sam can go out and play again, even though he's got like 40 stamina, he's gonna die. But yeah, fuck off. I mean, the, the lads could pull off a miracle. You never know. You never know. We've lost 3-0. No, there was no miracle. Just, we don't need to that. We're battling for promotion. Look at, we're top of the league. That's what we gotta focus on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Andre Green has suffered a torn calf muscle. He'll be out for six weeks. Dear me. He was just, just building up to getting his first team performance. All right, at home against Nottingham Forest. This is a game we're going to play. And now that we're top of the league, I want to stay here for the remainder of the season. We are not moving. There's big JT. No love for John Terry at Chelsea. What? How dare they? He was there for his entire career. Then he moves to Aston Villa and they hate him. Disgraceful. All right, we're going with Hogan up front after such a phenomenal performance. When he played Middlesbrough, Lansbury goes at number 10, Adoma and Rashika on the wings with Barilla, and Yerinaki's coming into the midfield. Um, I've given him his captain's armband because John Terry's off the pitch. Yeah, want a bit more legs than Whelan in midfield today. El Mahamadi Chester has finally returned after his injury, joining Elphick and Taylor. We do, I do really need to get Indicker up because fucking John Terry and Sam are both, look at them, fucking knackered. But the park is about to witness. Another goal drought. No, no, goal, not goal drought. Goal flourish. Lots of goals. We're going to score lots of goals this game. Okay. Mackay sends it out wide into Darkwaka. Oh, yabadaba. Ay, ay, ay. Ball whipped into the box. Here's Mackay. Oh, my God. Hobbs on his own. Hits the post. Oh. <laughs> Goal kick, Clough missed it, great defending from whoever it was, I did not see. They did a right cheeky little quick one there. It's the post, who was this lad? Who was the saviour? It was Taylor. You legend Taylor. It's Barela. Knocks the ball up to Hogan, dinks it in to Lansbury, this is beautiful, stop! What a finish! Great goal for Aston Villa, 1-0. Just as we were so close to going 1-0 down. It's the man with the man bun, putting us 1-0 up. Beautiful football again, and yet again, it's Hogan. One touch assist. He got about three of those last game. Great finish from Lansbury. Here's Lansbury looking to send Hogan. And I think he might have sent him. I think he might have got it done here. Beautiful cutback. Uh, just awful shot. Awful. Oh, good tackle from Rajika. He's always there pressing. Here goes Hogan. He's going to lay it off for Adoma charging in. And then Adoma's going to smack it across the middle. There's Lansbury, and he bags his second. Oh, I'm loving this guy at number 10. He's fantastic. He knows where to be. Excellent stuff. Adoma this time. Plays a great ball along the floor. That is an excellent pass. His bird cut. And good tackle from Barilla. And here we go. Ball roll comes out. And then he looks for the ball wide to Adoma. And Adoma strong gets in front of his man. And Lansbury's looking for the hat trick. Oh, God, no. We're going to shut up shop now. Barilla's coming off, Vieira is going to come into the midfield. And I am going to actually give Amang a run out up front. I want some powerful pace up front to go on the counter-attack. Oh, have they got that ball? No way, has that gone to them? Oh, God. Jamie is thick from Nottingham Forest there. It's disgusting. Deflections left, right and centre. is a tackle that sent it into the box. Into Lansbury. There's a Doma. And Mang, first few touches for the club, and we get to see his power lock, just shoves him off. And then look at the pace. Look at him go. Oh, yeah! Cuts it inside, it's a great ball. Oh, Lansbury was looking for his hat trick then. He's got some power, that lad has. Vieira, come on. Well done. No, Taylor. No! Everyone's been felled. Mackay goes into the box, hits the shot, and Johnston pulls out a stop. Great stuff. 
Yedinak, get that. Good win. Rashika finds Amang. This is great stuff. We're going on the counter attack now, and here goes Amang. Sends it wide. Yedinak, can he find Amang again? Smacks it into him. Amang, come back. Finesse. Oh, yeah. Rashika into Lansbury, still looking for his hat trick. Fucking up that lad. Yes, come on. Aston Villa win it 2 0. Solid performance. We are too good for the championship. <laughs> we, we've lost many games, but we're too good for the championship. Training session, and I was really impressed with the man. And Dicker goes up to 67. That's good. That's good for us. If he gets to about 69 rated, I'm going to start playing in Dicker because I've had it with these fucking old buggers at the back. Game against Burton Albion away. We're going to sim this one. Who've we got? We've got a fit sim. There we go. We'll throw the young lads out and Lansbury's going to get some more goals. I know it. He's in some great form. Oh, he's... No, he's not scored. Adoma and Hogan did though. And we get a 2-1 win away at Burton. We are flying up the table. Well, we can't fly up it anymore, but we're, we're starting to get a good lead. And then a game against Bolton. And yep, I'm going to sim this one at home. The boys can win this. Who shall I sim this with? I want Hogan and Lansbury to play again, but Bolton have been the whipping boys of the championship in real life, so I assume we can beat them at home. It is 3-1, but Rayla gets his first goal, Snodgrass, and Samba scores before he has to be substituted because he can only play for half an hour. Aston Villa bask in winning form. Damn right, Sir Zootman is on a surge. Oh, big game. Big game. Away at Wolves. This is going to be a big test for us. We haven't played Sheffield Wednesday yet and Ipswich, who have been doing quite well. But in real life, Wolves are the men to beat. And I still think they will be on this. And they've got the top goal scorer as well. Eight goals. I'm going to go with the exact same team that dismantled Forest. It was a perfect performance. Couldn't ask for anything more other than the fact that John Terry is going to come in back as the captain. Here's Bottini. Neves smacks it wide and Johnston has to parry. I feel like you could have caught that, lad. Here goes Hogan, skips past one, two, for a couple of step overs, beautiful little ball roll, cuts it back, is there going to be a pass on, he's hit it himself, and what a goal from Hogan, the man on form right now, Steve Bruce may be more interested in playing a midfielder up front, but I am very happy with this lad, look at the skills, look at the sharpness, cuts it back, picks his spot, pings it into the goal, beautiful, here's Costa, and he's just going to run straight through the middle of us. Unless John Terry can get back. Oh, outside of the post. Lansbury into a Doma. Nice little flick back. Lansbury, it's the strike. And it forces the goalkeeper to parry it. A Doma win that. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have you done with it? Is Neves. Knocks it into Costa. Into Bo Bonatini. Bonatini slips it in. Costa goal. Equaliser for Wolves. Picks us apart there. Football was too quick for me. It's a good equaliser too. We, oh, you look at he just drifts into the space. Waits for it. First time shot. Good goal. Oh, beautiful from Lansbury. Oh, what a goal. Lansbury's amazing. He's living it up at number 10. And he's having the time of his life. He's irreplaceable at the minute. Look at this. Hogan knocks it into him. A little bit of skill there. He's dived in the centre half. Did what a finish too. Here's Adoma, smacks one in behind, and Hogan's in behind again, and here we go, Hogan. Come on, lads. What can he come up with? Oh, my good Lord. Wolves are just maniacs. I want a red card referee. I want to see a red card right now. He's fucking booked him. You fucking melt ref. Unbelievable. How is that not a red? Is it a penalty either? And it's a fucking free kick. Oh, wow, they've got away with murder. Punish them. Who've I got to punish them? Free kick accuracy, 69. That's shit. 75, Yedinak. Oh my god, is he just looking to pal drive one? Let's do it, Yedinak. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, he's in the post. Oh. There's Costa. Driving into a box. Knocks it in. Excellent block from John Terry. Lansbury knocks it up into Hogan. And, he, and they've just come way too close to him there. And he's got all the time in the world to hit the strike. Hogan makes it 3-1 away at Wolves. Poor defending that was from Wolves. They just ran straight at him. Ran out of position, gave him the easy ability to turn around him. Look at this, just one touch and I'm in. Terrible defending. Great touches though and a great finish. All right, we're going to get Vieira on to see this win out. Snodgrass is going to come on wide too and we'll get Amang on up front. There's Lansbury and Hogan's going to be in again here. He could get his hat-trick if he's been pushed around. Ref 
That Miranda again. Another foul from him. All right, I do have Snodgrass on now, don't I? He should be our best free kick taker. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a save from the goalkeeper. Ye little bastard. Great tackle. Ref, fucking move. You dick. Snodgrass dinks it in there. And I'm... Oh, what a win! Oh, fucking hell, Snodgrass. That was a great win from a man. Silver. Knocks it back into Bonatini. Bonatini streeping through. And Taylor managed to just put his foot through it and get it away. A lovely little flick from Amang into Lansbury. And Lansbury's going to smack it back to him. And here goes Amang. He could be looking for his first goal for Aston Villa. He hits the strike and it's flown over the bar. No. Ah, oh, there we go. What a win that is. Away at Wolves. We've destroyed them. They look dangerous on the attack, but we are we are too... Oh, all of it. Our attack is just too powerful. It's quick. We've got pace. We've got passing. And now it is Fulham who we shall crush. And again, we're going to stick with the same team. It's just amazing. There's just nothing you can change about our team at the minute. I found, I have found the winning ingredients and I'm going to stick with it. Is it a Sheikah? Pacing away. It's a great ball from John Terry to set him free. And you're going to come for me? Rashika might do it himself. Oh! Is it a Sheikah? Oh my god, he's dodged the challenge well. Oh, really? Oh my word! Oh my word! Hogan goal! Can you believe it? Can you believe the skills that that man has? What a piece of skill, really? Twinkle toes everywhere, and Hogan just with a calm, side footed finish. El Mahamadi knocks it wide into the danger man. That is Rashika. And he's just going to keep storming forward. And they can't deal with him, and it's Hogan. It's a replica. It's an exact replica. Of the goal we just scored. And he loves that man a lot. It's brilliant. Like, they just don't dare get near the Sheikha. Look at him. He's just too quick. Little shift inside. Hogan with another beautiful finish. Here's Barela. Into Yedinak. Oh, that's a beautiful... Oh, Rashika, go on. Just do it. Just... Oh, what a goal. Two assists. One goal for him. Fulham have a gigantic leak in their defence. And it is the left side of the pitch. This man, Rashika... Yedinak finds him with a beautiful pass and he just calmly opens it up, smashes it in. Penalty, uh oh. Oh, I stamped with El Mohammedi there. And it's a pen, I think. I'm pretty sure the ref pointed to the spot. It is disappointing. Just before half time, and it's a goal. Rui Fonti bags it. 3 1. Ball inside, and what the fuck has just. How on earth does that just float? What are you doing, Johnston? You fucking moron. Look at it. It's just r it's right above you. Just go and catch it. Yes, they nearly catted and got the equaliser. Good win at Fulham. We sort of stopped playing after the first 40 minutes. We'd won the game, but what a disgraceful goal they scored at the end. 3-2, shit scoreline. We are well clear at the top now. 32 points, smashing it out. As we come to the end of October, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, guys. To end it here. Subscribe to become an uber duper zuber today. I'm Zuban, and as always, have a great day. Zip!